Welcome to Learning with Lulu. In this video we are going to do a simple summary of chapter 6 in Pride and Prejudice. So in chapter 6 uh, it starts with Elizabeth talking to her friend Miss Lucas and mainly they're talking about and also Miss Lucas's name is Charlotte. So Elizabeth and Charlotte are talking and they're mainly talking about Jane and how Mr. Bingley seems to be very interested in her and Elizabeth being the sister to Jane she knows her personality and her little quirks and behavior and she can tell that Jane very much likes Bingley as well but Jane's personality is such that she isn't super loud or showy about her inner feelings. And Charlotte is essentially telling Elizabeth that Jane better start showing more appreciation and attraction to Bingley, otherwise he's going to not think that she's interested and just move on. So they talk about that for a little bit. Um, they debate how long they've even known each other. Uh, Elizabeth is like, they've only known each other for a fortnight, which I believe is about two weeks. And Charlotte is like, that doesn't really matter. Charlotte kind of gives the perspective that we, it's almost Jane Austen saying like, this is what people seem to think in this time. And Charlotte's like, it wouldn't do them any better to know each other for 12 months. Um, and besides, it's better to not know the flaws of the person you're going to marry. And just kind of this funny perspective on like, it's better to just jump into marriage and like deal with the vexations of marriage later. Like, right now the important thing is securing a husband. And I, I do want to put in that this isn't to be critical of them just being like, we gotta get married. because until recently and even still just quite recent in history women didn't have as many options for having like wealth and abundance and financial security beyond marrying well so you know it's not this like critique on like wow don't they care about being in love it's more this acknowledgement of like yeah in order to be secure and safe and have like a good roof over your head it is important to marry well and make sure that you get someone to want to marry you so all that was in their discussion then the chapter really quickly jumps to Darcy and we in this chapter we are told that Darcy is starting to actually like Elizabeth and be attracted to her and interested her in her and they're at this party and he is like trying to like be closer to her and be around when she's having conversations with other people and Elizabeth notices and at one point tells Charlotte like this is super annoying he's on to something and I'm gonna like I'm gonna be on my feet so that I can like throw whatever like teasing or criticisms he may have about me right back at him. And then shortly after that, Darcy approaches them and Charlotte's kind of like, well, here's your chance. And and so they talk briefly. Um, J or Elizabeth, you can definitely tell, is on guard. And then she asks Mr. Darcy his thoughts on her teasing another person that she was having a conversation with that Mr. Darcy was kind of like trying to be around for. But she said, what are your thoughts on me teasing this person that like they should host a ball at Meryton? Mr. Darcy is like, well, uh, with great energy, he says, it's a subject which always makes a lady energetic. So it's like, women are always excited about balls. And Elizabeth's response is that he's very harsh and severe on like females. And then Charlotte kind of like volunteers uh, Elizabeth to perform in front of the group. And so Elizabeth does. And it's noted that while she plays well, like it's not amazing. And then her sister, 
Mary starts to play and it mentions that Mary has very much invested her time and energy into becoming really good at the piano and she tries to show off her talents in a way that's almost annoying to most people. And then to finish off the chapter, we get Darcy talking to Miss or, or Sir William. And he basically says like, hey, why don't you dance with Elizabeth? And obviously we know that's awkward because at a previous dance, he said she was barely tolerable to look at but now we know he's liking her more. And essentially Elizabeth just turns it down and she doesn't want to dance with Mr. Darcy. And then we get Bingley's sister. Uh, she comes over and is like, oh, what are you thinking about Mr. Darcy? And she assumes that he's thinking about how like bad company this is. And he's like, actually, I was thinking about how beautiful someone's eyes are. Bingley's or Miss Bingley she's like oh who and he tells her Elizabeth Bennett and then she kind of over teases you can you almost get the sense that maybe she's a little envious that Darcy was thinking about Elizabeth because she's like ooh. she basically does the elementary thing where it's like oh are you gonna marry her and also kind of mocks um, Elizabeth's mother and yeah she's just kind of immature in how she responds to it and Darcy's just kind of like whatever you're being and that is chapter six of Pride and Prejudice. So I hope this video comes in useful to you. Uh, if it does, or even if you've watched to this point, then like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and share with anyone else that you know may benefit from getting chapter summaries of Pride and Prejudice. Thanks for watching. Bye.